of our students have the chance to travel abroad and to interact with native speakers of English. What our students really want is to speak English fluently. And we're always asking ourselves, how can we make it more real, more human? a tool that connects our students with seniors in the USA living in retirement homes. Hello. Hello, hello. Melissa. Hi, Dick. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? How are you today? I'm good. How are you? It's, it's the I first am. time that I'm talking with someone from another, another country. I'm very excited to be doing this. I look like I'm only 25, but, uh, but I'm, I'm 88. <laughs> Do you have sisters and brothers? No, I'm one child. Only one? Oh, you poor fella. I live with my old brother. He has 23 years. Do you know, instead of saying he has 23 years, you could say he is 23 years old. I tried to go to Lollapalooza that we have next week, I think, in Brazil, but my mom didn't let me. Ah, uh, you got a good mom. <laughs> good morning, dear Julia. Good morning to you. This is your dad? That's me and my wife when we were young. Oh, you were good looking when you were young. And you're still good looking. <laughs> my first destiny is United States, of course, because I wanted to put better my English. Well, you do very well, I must say. Are you planning someday to go to Brazil? Oh, I would like to. Uh, you can stay in my house if you want. <laughs> if you could just dream and have whatever you want, what, would, what do you think you would like to be doing? I see myself in a big family, you know, with a beautiful wife. You know. I want to thank you for this change of experience, you know. You are incredible. Abracado. You are my new granddaughter, and I love you. I love you too. And if you were here, I would give you a big hug. Oh yeah, let's hug. Oh. Bye. Bye.